Hi, welcome to this workout. Today we're going to do a great cardio workout. You don't need any equipment, a warm up and cool down is included as well as a water break halfway. Let's get started. Okay, here we go. And we start this workout with a short warm up before we go over to the main exercises. We start with shoulder rolls and steps. So step it to the side and roll the shoulders. Pull the shoulders up to the ears and then press down again. Up, up, that's it. Roll the shoulders and reverse from the back to the front. In today's workout, it's all about cardio, getting the heart rate up, have a good time. And we do 10 different exercises, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds active rest to recast the breath a little. And then after the break, we have another set and we do the same exercises. Okay, make the bills up to the arms. So from the shoulder rolls, arm circles to loosen up the shoulders, because of course we're going to do reverse, a lot of arm moves to pump up the heart rate, circles, and that's it. Okay, now we're going to kick and curl, kick and curl. One arm up, one arm down, just loose, low kicks. Remember, it's still warm up. Just enough to get the heart rate up a little bit, get the blood flow going, prepare ourselves for the main workout. So kick it, get rid of all the tension in your body. Like I said, it's all about cardio today. You can follow along easy. And of course, do every exercise in your own pace, as long as you challenge yourself. And then after two times 10 second exercises, we finish with a cool down, some stretches. Come on, final kicks. And now we go into a wide stand, stretching up the inner thighs a little bit. So pulsing left four times and then over to the right. Push the knee out. Make sure you open up your hips because we're going to do some side steps, front steps, kicks, curls, all in one workout. Pulse it to the right and left. Make sure you really open up, keep your upper body straight so you can take deep breaths in, also during the exercises. And a couple of singles. Open up, stretch it up. And now coming up, feet are going together, shake it out one more time, and now we go over to the main exercises. Like I said, challenge yourself, make sure the heart rate gets up, but make sure you can finish the 10 Minutes in the first round. We start with a front tap and a front raise. Alternating sides, so left tap, right arm. Ready? Come on. Starting a little bit easy. Upper body straight up. Just step and raise your arms up. Shoulders down, chest up, belly button is in. And there we go for a full 45 seconds. And in those 15 seconds, active rest. It's called active because we don't want it to come still. We keep on moving, but slow it down to lower the heart rate down. So come on, tap it and raise the arms up. Up, up. Come on, make sure that heart rate get up. Up, up, tap it. Final seconds. And that's it. Okay, in those 15 seconds, make a regular size of what just the march on spot. Take a deep breath in, maybe not the necessary after the first exercise, but later on it will. The next one is a reverse step and we extend the arms to the wall behind us. So come on, tap it. Little pump, tap it, refine to the wall behind you. Up, up, toes into the floor, little pulses. And again, keep your upper body straight up. So press your hands down, up to the wall behind you. That's it. Up, tap it, tap it. That's it, keep on going. 
Lift up your chest, keep your upper body straight up. So you can easily take deep breaths in. Up, tap it, tap it. Have a great activity today. Extend your arms. Final ones. And that's it, march it out. Okay, the next one is a jack tap repeater. You all know the stepping jacks. Now we stay on one side, so single step, single arm for about 22 seconds and then we switch over to so come on, left side, up, up. Tap it out and bring that heart rate up. Arms up and down. That's it, really pump it up. Make sure you're standing like a slightly bent and tap it out. Up, 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 that's it, come on. Final seconds, switch over. No rest in between that switch. Come on, pump up, up, and tap it to the side. That's it. Come on. Final 10 seconds. Bring that arm all the way up above your head, and then pull your elbow back in your waist. Final one. That's it. Now the heart rate is up. So slow it down. For the next exercise, we're going to do a grapevine. So I move over to the side already a little bit. And at the end of the grapevine, you can do a clap, a kick, whatever you want, or just a regular one. Come on, right? Up. But make sure you make them big, powerful. Move your arms. Even make a little jump and clap at the end to intensify. Cheers, eruption. It's your workout. Grapevine. So step, cross, step, tap. That's it. Come on, bring that heart rate up. Up and up and up. To the right. Back to the left. Few more seconds. And up. Final one. And that's it. Recover a little bit. The next one. Maybe looks a little bit easy because we're going to do a power march on spot, speeding up, but making arm circles. Fast ones, ready? Come on. Hop, power march. Keep the arms up, working the shoulders a little bit. We're halfway after this one in the first round. So come on, march it on spot. Bam, 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 bam. That's it. Keep your arms up, make the little rotations. Don't lift the shoulders up to the ears. Keep your neck long and keep on marching. That's it, come on, come on, come on. Don't lower your arms down. Keep them up, keep them up. And just a few more seconds. Lower your arms down and slowly march it out. Like I said, we're halfway in the first round. The next one, double heel curl on both sides. And of course, we're going to cross, pull the arms. Upper body straight up, come into a little wide stand and go double on each side. So double left, double right. Hop. Try to kick your butt, lifting the heel all the way up and pull back your arms with power. Make fists, hop. Double on right, double on left. That's it, curl it, work the hamstrings, keeping the heart rate up. That's it, bring the weight over from right to left so you can curl your heel up towards your back. That's it, 10 more seconds. Keep on curling, up and double. Double, final one. And that's it, walk it out. Great, great effort. The next one, double side steps, regular ones, no the grapevines, just the steps. And what we're going to do is curling the arms, curl extend, like we did in the warm up. Come on, double, double, with power, double steps, that's it. Moving sideways, great for the outer thighs, the hips, hop. And make sure you have powerful arms because when you pump up those arms, heart rate comes up higher and higher. Hop, double to the right, 
Remember, go in your own pace, but make sure you have the heart rate up. You have a good challenge. To the left, to the right, just a few more. Double, double, almost there. One more to the left. We can go back and that's it. Okay, three more exercises and then we have a little break. The next one is a wide stand. We're going to twist in a little bit. Be careful on your knees. And when we twist, we make a push. Ready, come on, right side. Twist and push. Bam, bam, bam. If you want to punch, of course, make a punch. Like I said, it's your workout. Stay down a little bit. Tap it in, twist it in. And of course, engage your abs. Because by twisting that upper body, you're working your ab, your core muscles as well. And press. All right, left, come on. Show me the power. Keep the heart rate up. Left and right, and left, right. Don't stop, don't slow down. Final ones. That's it, now march it out. The next one is a side tap, regular side taps, and we press the hands to the front. That's what we're going to do. So keep it moving, or you get your breath, hands on the chest, and press it. So regular side steps, tap it to the side, and press those hands towards each other in front of your chest. And right, press, left, press. That's it, upper body is straight up, belly is tucked in. Hop, and pump your arms, front, back, front, back. That's it, keeping the heart rate up. Only one more after this, so keep pushing. Don't slow down, 10 seconds. Push and tap, push and tap. Up, final ones. That's it, great, great, great effort. Okay, walk it out. The final one is a skater. Tapping behind, hopping over from right to left, swinging the arms over from right to left as well. Ready, right side, tap and cross. Hop. You can bend over a little bit, but make sure you tuck your belly in. You have your back straight. Otherwise, just straight up. Straight up. So cross behind and tap it. Swing the arms. It's the final one before the break. That's it. Hop. Up. Side to side. You can make a little hop if you want. Just make a step as long as the heart rate keeps up. That's it. Up. Swing it left, swing it right, swing it left. 10 more seconds. Don't slow down. Keep it up. Up, up, up. Final ones. And that's it. Wonderful, wonderful job. You finished the first round. Now it's time for a water break. So hydrate your body, drink some water, and then in the next round, we do the same 10 exercises, finishing with a nice cool down and a bit of stretching. same exercises that means we're starting with the front steps and the front raises ready straight up and left side first come on tap it tap it we had some rest now it's time to get a heart rate up again and finish strong and powerful in round number two so we're counting down tap your toes lift your heels up working the calves a little bit by doing that move toes down heels up Come on, swing the arms front, raise it up, working the shoulders as well a little bit. Easy. Come on, 15 seconds. Every exercise in your own pace. Tap it. That's it, come on, final five seconds. 
And that's it. Walk it out. Don't stand still in between those exercises. From the front steps, we're going back to the reverse steps. Arms in the under the ground, and we push the hands to the wall behind us, really working a little bit of the triceps. Ready? And come on, tap it. Remember, keep your upper body straight up. Belly tucked in. Pulse it. And push the hands to the wall behind you. Trying to keep the elbows still. So you work your triceps a little bit. Working our flabby arms while we get the heart rate up. Up. Come on. Chest up, shoulders down. Up, 15 seconds. Reverse steps. And extend those arms to the wall behind you. Up. That's it. Come on. Final seconds. That's it. Okay, and walk it out. Or just kick it out, whatever feels good. But don't stand still and take a deep breath in. We go over to the jack repeater. I start on the right this time because first round I started on left. Ready, hand in your waist and come on, up. Bring your hand all the way up above your head. No half moves. Come on, all the way up and pull down. Tap it out, tap it out. Five seconds, then we're switching over to the other side. And that's right now. Ha! No rest. Straight into the other side. Tap it, tap it. Come on, standing like a slowly bend, tap it out. Arm up, down, up, down, up, down. That's it. Keep going. Final seconds. That's it. Okay. Wonderful job. Move over to the side. Because the next one is that grapevine. We step, cross, step, tap. And at the end, you can make a little hop, make a clap, whatever feels good today. To the right side. Here we go. Hop. Come on. I want to see big, powerful moves, at least. Work the inner outer thighs by moving sideways with a lot of power and energy. Hop. That's it. Move your arms like you're running or walking very brisk. Hop. That's it. Step. Tap. Cross in the middle. Work the inner thighs by crossing behind. Hop. And just a few more. To the left. To the right. That's it. Final one. And move slowly. Take a deep breath in, lower the heart rate. The next one is that speed march with the arm rotations. So are you ready? Come on, hop. That's it, powerful march. Speeding up. Small rotations, but keep the arms up, shoulders down. Hop, 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 hop. That's it. Come on. You can walk front, walk back, whatever feels good, come on. Keep the arms up, come on, don't lower the arms down. Speeding up fast feet, 15 seconds left. That's it. Don't give up. Keep going. After this one, we're already halfway in round two, so we're heading towards the end. Only five more exercises and lower it down. That's it. You forget about the time. You're talking and listening and that's easy. Okay, the next one, double heel curl. Cross pull the arms, remember, ready? And go, double. Make fist, swift your weight over from left to right. That's it, come on. Up, double. Try to kick your butt and keep your upper body straight up. Hop, double right, double left, double right. Come on, kick it and pull. That's it. Don't slow down, keep that heart rate up. It's so, so good, come on. 10 more seconds, just a few more curls. Work the hamstring, kick your butt, left. 
All right, and final one. That's it. Well done. The next one is that double side step with the curl extensions. Powerful moves. So move over to the side a little bit. Take a deep breath in. And here we go, double. No crushing this time, just regular side steps, but big and powerful moves. Bam, 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 that's it. Double, double. Always tuck your belly in, tighten your core, and move your arms with power. So no flabby arms. Come on, power, power, power. That's it. Hop. 10 more seconds. To the right, to the left. Bam, bam, bam. One more. And that's it. Okay, next one. Twist with the punches or the presses, whatever you want to do. Keep on moving, don't stand still. Take a deep breath in, little wider stand, and turn and push to the right. Hop, left, right, left. So you can make punches or just push and twist in a little. Come on, upper body straight up, but tighten your core, squeeze it while you make that twist. That's it, working the midsection a little bit as well, as long as we keep the heart rate up. Come on, twist, push, punch, hop. Keep going, stay down low a little, 15 seconds. Work the legs, keep pushing, hop. Left, right, left, right, come on, come on, come on. Final push, that's it. Two more exercises, then we're heading over to the cool down. The next one, is that side tap with the press front, and then we finish with a skater move. Ready, hands on chest high, and here we go. Press and tap, press and tap. Try to keep that pace up, speeding up. Push, 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 that's it, and tap it. Belly is tucked in, chest up, shoulders down, bring up that upper body, long. That's it, and push it, push it. Keep going. Come on, don't slow down. You're doing a great job and you're almost at the end of this workout. Come on. 10 more seconds of taps and pushes. Both hands together to the front, in front of your chest. Final press, that's it. Okay, and we finish with the skaters. Hopping over from left to right, step and tap, swinging the arms also from right to left. Ready, ready, ready? Here we go, come on. Bam, bam, right to left. Don't have to take a big step, a big jump, just speed it up. That's it, that's it. Right to left, right to left. Swing your arms, tuck your belly in. Come on, keep your chest open so you can take deep breaths. Come on, keep pushing, it's the final one. Speed up if you have anything left. For the final 10 seconds. Come on, skating left and right. That's it, come on, and well done. You finish this workout. March it out. Take a deep breath in. Lift up your chest. And out. Really slow it down. You have done your job and a great, great job. Now it's time to recover. Stretch the legs a little because we did a lot of steps. Come on, take another deep breath in. And that's it. Come on, we're going to roll the shoulder and up and down and up slowly come to a stand still reverse the rolls open up your chest bring the shoulder blades together lift the shoulders up to the ears that's it one more 
And then we're going to make a few swings to release the tension out of the arms. Open up. That's it. Swing. And over to a pike fold. One leg is in the front, one is behind. Make sure you press the rear heel down so you stretch up your calf a little bit. And with stretched out legs and a straight upper body, we bring the chest towards the front knee. And now we feel the nice stretch in the calf on the rear and the front hamstring. Bring your chest a little bit closer to intensify the stretch if you want to. That's it. Keep pressing your heel down. And then bend the knees and move over to the other side. Left in front, right behind, or otherwise, other leg. Stretch it up, make sure you press the rear heel down. And then with the straight upper body, bringing the chest to the front leg to stretch up our hamstrings. And make sure you feel that stretch in your calf as well. That's it, bring the chest a little bit closer, if you can. And that's it, bend the knees, slowly come up. Going to do one final stretch. And that's the quadriceps stretch. So find your balance, grab your ankle, heel towards your bed, knees together, and press the hip forward, pull the knee back a little bit to stretch the upper part of your leg. Because we did a lot of ups and downs, sometimes we had to balance on one leg, swifting the weight over, so make sure to stretch it nice, upper body straight. And then shake it out over to the other side, up. That's it, grab your leg. Knees together, press the hips forward a little bit. Of course, if it's hard to find your balance, hold something, hold a wall, a table, because the workout is over. But make sure you have that nice stretchy feeling on your quadricep. And that's it. Okay, now we're going to kick and shake out. That's it, releasing all the tension. And that's it. Very, very, very well done. You finished the workout, you did a great job. I hope you feel very fit, Fanny, and very energized. Uh, give yourself the thumbs up, you've well deserved it. And of course, I wish you a great day and hope to see you next time in another workout. Bye.